a society where appearance is, you know, is paramount, unfortunately. Um, and, you know, the essence of who we are is often distilled into how we look. And I think we see two ends of the spectrum. Then we see people who become overly thin, or people who become overweight as a means almost of coping with this, that people become overly thin and they think that it's all about control and limiting themselves. And I think people become overweight, it's all about saying, you know what, I don't care, there's no point, you know, I'm just going to, to live the life that I want. And it becomes almost a way of self-medicating with food. Obesity kills, as do eating disorders. It's all about finding that right balance. And it's not an easy thing to contend with. You know, when you've started off that diet on a Monday and by Friday everyone's getting a takeaway and you think, you know what, I haven't lost any weight. The heck with it, I'm gonna have some of that takeaway. It's it's easy to feel that you you know that you've not accomplished. And the more you feel like you failed, then the easier to, or the harder it becomes to get back on the on the horse and try again. It's vital to remember that we all fall down. And the difference between those of us that succeed and those of us that fail is we get back up again. And this is never truer when you're trying to regulate your weight. You need to find what's right for you. For some people, it's about exercise. For other people, it's about eating right. For other people, it's about doing sports. For other people, it's about being involved with a group that can give them that support. For other people, it's about a day that motivates you, a party, a holiday, a wedding day. For others, it's the numbers. Whatever it is, you need to know what works for you. And you need to be prepared for the fact that you will have the Friday night takeaways once in a while and that doesn't make you a bad person, that doesn't make you a failure, that makes you human and normal and that's okay. In fact, I think in most cases it's good to work in some days off if you're having a, a, a sort of an eating strategy. I think beyond that, like anything in life, we know support makes it easier. It does. If you could find a friend to go jogging with or play tennis with or football with or just go down to the gym with. Great. If you kind of find a friend or you can do it as a family where you're not having, you know, fry ups every Sunday morning but you're trying, you know, different fruit salads or whatever, that helps. You know, the point is enlist as much support as you can. And if you don't have people around you that'll do it again, you know, there's so many great organizations out there. I think there's, you know, that's a great thing about the internet that increasingly, you know, more people are coming together with a real interest in helping each other as well.